everybody. Hello. Um, don't look at what's in the back of my car. I have a bunch of stuff in the back of my car. Hello and welcome to the stream. Going to the city? I'm in the city. Do I have news for you? Guys, parking in the city, I'm... Parking in the city is so cringe, guys. I don't get it. I don't get what people see in it. <laughs> I'm parked on the side of the road in front of an apartment building, hoping that I don't get towed. I don't see a sign, so that's my defense. If I get towed. I went to a coffee shop to pee, so then I had to buy a coffee. Um, which is this, and I haven't tried it, but I know I'm gonna hate it. I can tell. for 40 months. Stolen Wi-Fi. I didn't even want this. I just had to pee. A taste test. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. It's actually, it's pretty good, but the problem is if I drink all that, then I'm gonna have to pee again. And the reason that I peed at that coffee shop is because I can't pee in it this thrift store. Well. Why don't you buy something you'd like? Because I because I panicked, okay? Because I I I just had to pee and I walked in there and I thought it would be like a walk up coffee shop and it was a whole restaurant like there were people sitting down and I was like, oh, can I just do like a coffee to go? Why don't you take the small cup then? This is the small cup. You could have just asked to pee there, but that's a goal for the future. No, that's kind of that's messed up, isn't it? You don't you don't go use a bathroom somewhere if you don't buy something. Isn't that like a rule? Yeah, the other problem with being in the big city is that there's a lot more people in the big city. You guys want to hear something messed up? I believe you did the best you could in the situation. Thank you, Daisy. You get it. I wish more people were like you. You want to hear something messed up? Tomorrow? I ha Ow! Tomorrow? I have to get a filling. Again. I have to get a cavity filled that I already got filled six months ago six months ago there is still a freaking warranty on this cavity so I don't have to pay for it again they just did such a bad job I have to get it refilled at a different place did you guys even know that there are warranties on cavities like how messed up is that it came out? No, it's just insane sensitivity. Like, I can't put anything on that tooth that's anything but room temperature, hot or cold. It's terrible. Anyway, I'm pissed about that. I'm pissed off about that. You guys want to hear a cool stat? From the collab week, uh, collab apocalypse week? We reached at minimum, at minimum, because we don't actually have all these numbers. Um, we have some of them, not all of them. Um, we reached at minimum 320,000 unique viewers. That's like un people, individuals, right? That is 16,000 classrooms in seven days. As someone who used to do traditional conservation education, who used to take animals to classrooms and do 20 kids at a time, you do seven classrooms in a week, that's a crazy week. And then you're doing less than 100 kids, right? Generally, maybe about 100 kids. The fact that we can do 16,000 classrooms in one week through collabs is disgusting. Insane. Insane, right? Isn't that such a cool way to think about that? There's, there is no, po there's obviously, there's no world where you could reach that many people doing this in the normal way. So cool. 16,000 classrooms in seven days. Like, I, you can't even comprehend numbers like that. It's just insane. It's so cool. And the animals didn't have to go anywhere. The animals reached 320,000 people. Cool stat to wrap your head around that. We reached about a tenth of the people in seven days that San Diego Zoo sees in a year. That's also crazy. Hello from Scotland. Very cool. Um, when are you going to Austin? What do you mean? I'm in the big city right now. You can tell because I'm watching someone about to get in a car accident. I don't understand how people drive in the city. It stresses me out. Nobody got in a car accident. Too easy. 
Last time I went to this thrift store, um, I met a viewer who was very, very nice. I always, you know what's weird about, not that it's happened that many times, but whenever I meet viewers while I'm streaming, it's, I feel embarrassed. But not when I'm not streaming. When I'm not streaming, it's fine. But when I am streaming, it, I feel, it feels embarrassing. I don't know why. Did you say small world? Probably. I probably did. Hey, one day I'm gonna meet a viewer IRL and I'm gonna and they're gonna say, hey, you Maya? And I'm gonna say, yeah, they're gonna say small world. Cause they're gonna know that I say that. It's like meeting a customer outside of work. Do you act different on stream and off stream? Um Yeah. Off stream I'm a delight. They're saying, Are you the are you the girl from Alvea Sanctuary? I love Alvea Sanctuary. How are Austin's thrift stores compared to LA's? Very different. Um, LA thrift stores are like, the clothes are just, I don't know how to say, the clothes are just, how do you say, como se dice, weirder. A little more out there, you know? They're a little wacky, kooky, crazy. In Austin, they're a little more normal. S-Fan says you're nicer off stream. S-Fan doesn't know me off stream. I hate to burst everybody's bubble, but we're not even friends. Is that Maya Higa the conservationist? Only, I've only ever met one person uh, who has said that. And it maybe is my favorite viewer interaction to date. I was at a nature center and they were like, are you, are you the conservationist? Maya. It's the only time a viewer's ever said that. I get a lot of people that are like, well, most of the time they're just like, are you Maya? Nothing crazy. And I said, oh my God, small world. I do get the occasional, are you Maya from OTK? And I say, no. I said, no, that's the wrong one, unfortunately. Lad uh, McConkey! Lad McConkey sub for the first time. I know that's a fake account because his name has two C's in it and your username only has one C. But thank you for trying. Did I tell you guys about the viewers that I met at that bar when Allison was here? Um, and I didn't know that they were viewers. And I was doing the girl gal pals you know when you know when you meet a guy but you don't want to really meet the guy and so they're like what's your name and then you tell them a name that's not yours you know you know how you guys do that yeah um so i'm at the bar uh and there's this guy and he's like what's your name and i was like sarah um and then his friend like walks over and he's like Maya? <laughs> and I was like, ah. and I was like, I lied to you. I'm so sorry. I, yeah, that's my name. <laughs> um, I did not say small world. Oop. Oop. Always say Sarah. Yeah, guys, if you meet a girl IRL and they say that her name's Sarah, they're lying. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, kidding. But that is the fake name I always use. That sounds unfortunate. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy, right? Like I was out with my boyfriend. I just didn't want to give him my name. Wow. Oh, I should have been like, oh, like, yeah, my name's Maya on stream, but my my real name is Sarah. Don't leak. <laughs> Don't leak it. That's my legal. Oh no, my wife's name is Sarah. Oh, Raz, dude, you got, you got fooled. That's crazy. Next viewer I meet. Are you Sarah the conservationist? Imagine the meta. You gotta be in so deep for that to happen at this point. Get punked. A generational scam. What the heck is this? Look at this car. Wait, there's no one in it. There's nobody in there. Oh! He's stuck. Waymo. <laughs> Dude, no! There's a, look, there's a truck coming. Oh, wait, he's backing up, he's a genius. Where's he gonna go? Oh. How did he know to back up? What the heck? Well, now he's coming back, he's gonna get stuck again. Hey, buddy. <gasps> okay, this is kind of scary. Hey, dude. You can't go this way. You can't! You shouldn't! I don't think that's a good idea. Oh. Oh, 
that's kind of scary. No, he's fine. He's going around. He said, I'm not waiting for you. I have a job to do. Get out of my way, bucko. If someone tried to take a right, which they legally could down this road, we would have a problem. It's not a one way, but it's a two lane, but this truck is in one lane and he's in the other. <laughs> uh, well, <gasps> he's leaving, he did it. Bye. There he goes.